And Peter stood up there on Pentecost together with the other disciples. What? That's right, ladies and gentlemen, what you just heard was in English. That was English. Can we hear that again? Run that back. And Peter stood up there on Pentecost together with the other disciples. And Peter stood up there on Pentecost with all the other disciples. And Peter stood up there on the Pentecost with all the other disciples. Can you imagine? The guy makes a living as a public speaker, speaking to English crowds in English. And this is what we're getting. And Peter stood up there on Pentecost together with the other disciples. And Peter stood up there on Pentecost. I mean, what? I think he is Austrian. Or he's Danish. I'm not sure. But, uh, wow. That is thick. And he said, bow your head, everybody. And if anybody wants to receive Jesus, you lift your hand. Yeah, I see the hand there. And I see the hand there. I see the hand there. Thank you. Thank you. How can he see the hand if his head is bowed? That's a miracle. That is a miracle. I was wrong. I've been wrong this whole time. And now pray this prayer just in your heart. And then he said, yes, now you are safe. What we grow up in is the only truth of what we study because everything we see look like what we are doing is the truth. And we have, of course, smart people around us who who know the Bible much better than us, so because of that, it must be the truth. White noise with an accent. That's like if you turned on the TV and you, you saw snow, just static snow, but it had an Austrian accent. That's what we just heard. To be a disciple of Jesus is to live a supernatural spiritual life. <laughs> to be a disciple of Jesus is to live a super natural spiritual life. Look, to put it this way, I don't want to live forever if this is how I'm going to sound. This is, I don't want to be a clown, I don't want to be made fun of for eternity. Super natural, hold on, how do you say that? A super natural spiritual life. Super natural spiritual life. I mean, that word spiritual, he's just not even getting through that. He like starts off with the S, he's, he's good with the SP, and then he just goes into just chaos. It's just spiritual. He tries to save it with the L at the end. He's solid on the L. In his brain, right before attempting that word, he's like, okay, I am really rock solid. I'm tight on the SP and the L. In between, man, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to hack my way through that word. Let's hear it again. Supernatural spiritual life. Spiritual. Spiritual. I want to be spiritually enlightened. I want to be super spiritual. Try to do it again. The same thing. Look at her face. What is happening? Yes, I am. Now the pain is gone. The word of God. Amazing. You fixed her shoulder cramp. Holy Christ, it's a miracle. God is here to relieve minor back pain, ladies and gentlemen. Um, also, side note, bad news, you're still morbidly obese and have diabetes and will die 20 years before you should. But thank you, God. Great job on the back pain. God is very clear. He has commanded us to go out heal the sick. Baptism is more than just a symbol. Ooh, I'm loving these frontal baptisms, just dunking people, not backwards. Like just straight jam their head into the water, just right up the nostrils. Beautiful. Baptism is strong, is powerful. And tell, okay, tell me this guy doesn't look like the guy from Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, I'm talking about the Nazi at the end whose face melts. You know who I'm talking about. That is this guy. This guy has come back from the dead. You know, you know and I know that this guy's life will not end peacefully in his sleep. It will end with his face melting upon looking at the contents of the Ark of the Covenant. And he save us, set us free from our sins. Yeah, because what you must understand is when you put yourself in the ocean and in the water, when in the right context, this can help change your life, transform it, transformative moments. The baptism is more, that, oh, look at this, white t-shirt, little something for the ladies. Can I get a nip slip? If you continue in sin, 
If you live in sin, you don't really know God. But a Christian is somebody who do not continue living in sin because Jesus died from the cross and he did everything that was necessary to take sin away from us. You are a dirty sinner, yeah, because you, you must overcome this and what the way to do this is to submerge yourself in the water. The, let the water wash over you, wash your sin away. It's a beautiful thing, this, this baptism. It's a magic trick, the likes of which we shall never see in the world. Okay, let, okay let's say you sin again. It's okay. Go back into the water. I know one guy, he sins so much, he go, gets baptized every day. He washed the sin away every day. Why? Because he wants to live super spiritual life. He wants to live super spiritual. He got then baptized with the Holy Spirit. We also need to get baptized with the Holy Spirit. We read the book of Acts, everybody starts to speak a new language. <laughs> I think you're speaking a new, a new language right now. You are speaking in tongues. Hold on, did he just say we read in booger face? I'm pretty sure he said that. <laughs> Let's check the tape. We read in Book of Acts, everybody starts to speak a new language. Yep, clear as day. He says we read in booger face, everyone starts to speak a new language. We read in Book of Acts, everybody starts to speak. How can you read in booger face? I mean, first you gotta establish your terms to find that shit for us. Booger face? I mean, if you pointed Boogerface to me, I could read it, perhaps, if it's the name of a book. But to be honest, and I'm not a biblical scholar, I'm not familiar with the book of Boogerface. So you have to, you know, reference it. I mean, put a link in the description, something, because I want to know the secrets of Boogerface, just like anybody else. Clearly, this guy's figured out the secrets of life has something to do with Boogerface. If we want to obey Jesus, we need to come out of the box. We need to come out of the church system. And this most symbol of church is love God, love your neighbor, make disciples. Oh, oh man, yet another, yet another example of a thoroughly unconvincing attempt by somebody who is alive today. This is not some documentary from the past. This is not performance art of what somebody in the Middle Ages might have thought. This is today. This was uploaded on YouTube. Highly encouraging. Whatever that guy just said, I want to be anti that. I am A whatever that was. We, we need to come up with new words because I want a word to encapsulate just how repelled I am from everything that guy stands for. His look, his sound, his tongue, the, the, the nipples on the guy in the white shirt, all of it. I want nothing to do with it other than to mock it and to shame it. And I just did that.